I'm Oliver from Bigger Boat Distribution and I'm here at the uh, Music Mesa 2012 representing Latch Lake mic stands. Here we're looking at the Chrome Mic King 3300 and uh, if we start at the base, 90% of the weight of the base is on the outer perimeter which means that it's uh, very stable with a very small footprint. It's designed to have a similar stability as a tripod base with twice the diameter, much bigger, bigger base. And then uh, moving up the stand, here we got these quick release lever locks. And uh, those will just lock as tight as you need them to lock and it'll never move until you undo it again, just like that. So then we got this um, the boom clutch here for adjusting the tilt. You just pop that open like that and then uh, you can tilt it and if it's not tight enough then you can uh, tighten it with these fine tuning screws to adjust the, uh, the tension and then that locks in and then it definitely will not move. <laughs> so then at this end we've got the uh, a counterweight that will come off and you can position that wherever you want it on this on this piece here and if, if you have something really heavy on the end then you put the counterweight all the way out there and then this will extend out a very very long way <laughs> each of these metal bowls, poles is about a meter long so it can go up if it were to go straight up, it'll go about six, almost seven meters. And it'll pack down small as well. So then one other important piece of it is here. Let me just swing that around. This is the uh, spin grip mic mount. And uh, you can, hang on, just that around. I'll show you here. So you can, you can uh, just uh, spin this round to, to attach the microphone and then uh, spin it around to take it off and then lock it in. Lock it in there with the, with the jam nut. And then by opening these clamps out you can position the mic exactly wherever you want it. And then you can just lock it in there and here. And it'll say exactly where you want it. It will never droop in the middle of a session or in the middle of a recording. You lock it there and it will stay absolutely still. Finally, there's the, the extra boom arm, which is uh, for attaching extra microphones onto one stand. So you can use this if you're recording a drum kit. You might have one of these stands, um, one of these extra boom arms attached to the to the mast here, and then you'd have a microphone coming off for the snare drum, for the top of the snare drum, and another one for the bottom of the snare drum, and another one for the hi hat. Locks in, and in this way you can record up a, you can record a whole drum kit like this, which is what they've done here. Low Swing Studios in Berlin and he's got some big heavy overhead microphones and then these extra mics coming off for the uh, for the other drums and he can just wheel the whole lot out of the way put in a different drum kit tune the kit wheel in all the microphones still wired up and then he can go straight away